It's definitely not news to most people to know that Kyrie Irving demanded a trade a very long time ago, but what is news to a lot of people is that, for me personally, if Kyrie Irving is traded before the start of the season, and he is traded during the start of the season, whenever he is traded, I think he will ruin the NBA. Not in the same way that Kevin Durant ruined the NBA, and it's not anything against Kyrie Irving, which is something I want to state personally, because Kevin Durant... It was something that he did which ruined the NBA for me and for a lot of people. Kyrie Irving won't ruin the NBA by the move that he decided to make. It's the fact that the NBA that we are watching and the NBA that we're consumed by is really in a weird stage at the moment. I want to touch on the subject of conferences. I want to touch on the subject of players and how good they really are in terms of star players, superstar players, and all-star level players, which is something that we'll get into in this video. But before I start, I just want to say that Kyrie Irving, most realistically, if he were to be traded, I think Cleveland would have to look for a young guy to actually get in return for Kyrie Irving. But the fact is, if you have LeBron James on your team, you're going to want to compete for a championship. I mean, he is the best player in the NBA. Despite not winning the MVPs the last couple of years, LeBron James, if you have him on your team, you know that every year he's going to compete 100%, put his body on the line, and go and try and win an NBA championship. It's simple as that. LeBron James, he is that good. So if you've got LeBron on your team, you're going to want to compete for a championship. So I think there are two realistic teams that Kyrie Irving could be traded to, to match both what the Cleveland Cavaliers should do in the future and what they should do now with LeBron James on the team. And I think if you're the Cleveland Cavaliers, you want to get young players to build around for the future if LeBron James leaves. And then if you have LeBron James, which they do, you also want to get a star, superstar or all-star player in return, which is something I want to touch on as well. So, if you're Phoenix, I think you're going to have a very good shot to get a trade down and try and get Kyrie Irving. I don't think you're going to have to give up Devin Booker, or you're going to have to give up Josh Jackson. But I do think Eric Bledsoe, as that all-star player, you're going to have to give up, definitely. And then it really comes down to if they want to give up a pick, or if they want to give up a young guy like Marquise Chris or TJ Warren. But if I'm Cleveland, I'm definitely just going to try and go after Josh Jackson or Devin Booker. There is probably a 0% chance that they're going to get those guys, but you might as well try. In saying that, Miami is also another team that could go after Kyrie Irving simply for the fact that they can give up someone like Goran Dracic who is that all-star level player. He's not an all-star, but he's that type of player that you can fill in for Kyrie Irving as a replacement. He's definitely not a replacement for Kyrie Irving, but you know what I mean. He can play that suitable starting position for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then you can also throw in a young piece that the Cleveland Cavaliers can build on if LeBron James does decide to leave. Maybe Justice Winslow or Josh Richardson, someone like that, Tyler Johnson. There's a lot of young players that Miami could give up. The thing is, though... If he were traded to Phoenix, who is in the Western Conference, to me, it's, it just ruins the NBA. Not because of the move by Kyrie Irving or the demand for a trade, because I do understand why he does want to leave. He wants to be the main guy. I, do, I don't agree with that point of view by him, but if I'm Kyrie Irving, I might I might have a different mindset because he's in the NBA and I'm not. So I'm not going to say why Kyrie Irving demanded a trade. I will understand why. At times, I don't understand why, but that's just for him to decide. He demanded a trade. That's his call. But if he does go to the Western Conference, the amount of players that have gone to the Western Conference is just unbelievable. This offseason alone, if Kyrie Irving does go, then you've got him, you've got Jimmy Butler, Paul Millsap, Paul George, which is insane. That's four star players or all-star level players that have gone to the Western Conference, making the Eastern Conference even worse. Not to mention Carmelo Anthony, he may even join the Houston Rockets, maybe not by the start of the year, but maybe at the trade deadline or somewhere through the year, he may join the Houston Rockets, which is the main destination that a lot of people think Carmelo Anthony will join. So for me, when you look at the Eastern Conference, who are your star players? You've got LeBron James, Giannis, John Wall, who I think are three star players. And for those that don't know, there needs to be a real defined line on who star players are in the NBA. And a very, very long time ago, I watched a Dom 2K video and he talked about what are star players, what are all star players, and what are superstar players. I'll leave a link to that video in the description box down below if I can find it. But that really got me thinking because when you look at the Eastern Conference right now, I think you really only have three star players. You've got LeBron James, Giannis, and John Wall. Then you've got your 
kind of all-star level players when you've got DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, Isaiah Thomas, who there's going to be a lot of people that say Isaiah is a star. There's going to be a lot of people that say Isaiah is an all-star. To me personally, I love Isaiah, but I just don't think he's as good on that level as LeBron, Giannis, and John Wall. But in saying that, he has shown that he can match up with John Wall at times. So that's where it comes into play. It just depends on who you preference as that star player. But even then, you've got Gordon Hayward. I don't think as a star. I think if you put him on the Western Conference like last year, he's not one of those top-level players. Same with Isaiah Thomas. If you had him in the Western Conference, would he really be that star player? And that's where it comes into play as well. Then you've got Al Horford. And those kind of players, they're all-star level players. But if that's who you have as your top players in the Eastern Conference, something needs to change. Because not only does it make the NBA worse, but a team like the Cleveland Cavaliers... They, they won't be competing for a championship without Kyrie Irving, in my opinion. I mean, they might make it to the NBA Finals, but when you've got the NBA Finals like last year with Kyrie Irving, and then you transition to this year without Kyrie Irving, but the exact same Golden State Warriors team who even possibly got better this offseason, then you're looking at a little bit of a, possibly a sweep in my opinion. I think the Warriors can possibly sweep the Cleveland Cavaliers if it's exactly the same as last year, but without Kyrie Irving and a Golden State team who got even better. So with that being said, if Kyrie Irving does leave the Cleveland Cavaliers, it will ruin the NBA because we know that the Boston Celtics have a very strong team. Isaiah Thomas, Gordon Hayward, Al Horford, three all-star players possibly in the Eastern Conference. And then you've got DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, two all-star players on the same team. Then you have LeBron James and his Cleveland Cavaliers, who LeBron will lead a Cleveland Cavaliers team, but he doesn't have that sidekick anymore of Kyrie Irving. And that leads Kevin Love to have to step up and we don't even know if he can do it but he has shown he can do it in Minnesota so he may be able to do it now that Kyrie Irving may be gone but overall I think if Kyrie Irving does leave the Cleveland Cavaliers it will ruin the NBA because the Eastern Conference has got so much worse the Western Conference has got so much better we know who's going to make it in the Western Conference most likely it's going to be the Warriors in the Eastern Conference we don't really know who's going to make it but it doesn't matter because if Kyrie Irving leaves I just think that we know who's going to win the NBA championship. If Kyrie Irving stays, I do think Cleveland still has that chance to win the NBA championship. The only other way I can see this not ruining the NBA for me this season, if Kyrie Irving does get traded for a player of his level, someone like maybe an Isaiah Thomas from Boston, but even that is just so, so unrealistic. It's not unrealistic in the sense of the chance of it happening is unrealistic. It's unrealistic in the chance that the Celtics have built this team that they may not want to just dissolve by getting rid of Isaiah Thomas and getting Kyrie Irving despite who's the better player. So for me, I just can't see this NBA season being an enjoyable season for me to watch. It, there are games that are going to be insane, but most of those games are going to be in the Western Conference, and most of them aren't going to be in the Eastern Conference, apart from maybe even like Boston versus Cleveland. They're the two best teams in the Eastern Conference, and if the Cleveland Cavaliers don't have Kyrie Irving and replace him with maybe Goran Dragic or Eric Bledsoe, for me, it just doesn't seem that exciting for me to watch. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, it'd be awesome if you guys could leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Also, new merchandise is coming out soon, so it's looking really, really exciting. There's a whole lot of different merchandise. There's some Nick Smith merchandise. There's some NBA-type merchandise. It's going to come out soon. It's looking really, really good so far. I may put a bit of um, images and things like that on the screen right now, but it's looking awesome. So if you guys want to cop some merch, let me know down below. Follow me on Twitter for updates, and also hit the notification bell next to my name so you guys don't miss the video. But yeah, like I said, if you guys enjoy the video, Subscribe, leave a like. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.